Hi friends, today we will be talking about uh, one interesting group of uh, what you call as bacteria like we have heard about bacteria which causes diseases, we have heard about bacteria uh, which cause decomposition, we have heard about bacteria which are important in nutrient cycling, bacteria which are important in uh, fermentation. But have you heard of bacteria eating another bacteria? Yes, today we will be talking about a group of bacteria which literally eat the other bacteria like you must have heard of viruses which infect the bacteria. So, where a particular virus uh, which we refer to them as uh, the bacteriophages you must have heard of. So, these particular bacteriophages we know that they find a typical host cell, they go and they attach there, uh, they penetrate inside the host cell and then they multiply and then they lyse the host cell and this is how a typical bacterial virus it attacks a bacteria. Right. So, today we will be talking about a group of bacteria which is called as your Dello Vibrio. Uh, not very new, discovered long back in 1962. One of the most studied uh, group here is your Dello Vibrio Bacteriovorus as the name suggests. This is a bacteria which is going to eat the bacteria. Yeah, literally it is going to eat the bacteria. So, this Dello Vibrio actually occurs in two phases. Matlab, you have a host independent phase which is very rare in these and most common phase which is the host dependent phase where they occur in the form of gram negative comma shaped flagellated cell. The flagell also here it has a sheath on its surface. So, this is also very uncommon in bacteria in general. So, but here the attack cells what we call the uh, phase of this particular Dello Vibrio which is going to actually attack the other group of organisms. You will find these Dello Vibrio attacking E. coli, you will find this Dello Vibrio attacking Pseudomonas, Agrobacterium, Rhizobium, and many species. So, whenever this particular Dello Vibrio is in the attack phase, it occurs in this particular form as you can see in a comma shaped, a sheathed flagellated cell which swims really fast. Matlab, you will find a typical Dello Vibrio can swim around 100 times faster uh, than its own length. Yeah, so, you will find that this is uh, how fast this particular bacterium uh, it will swim and by chemotaxis it will go and find its host. So, once this particular Dello Vibrio finds its particular host with the help of a receptor this particular Dello Vibrio will go and attach to this particular uh, host cell with the help of these receptors. So, there will be a uh, receptor and ligand kind of interaction where this Dello Vibrio will go and attach there and it will try to penetrate them. It will try to attach to the capsule of this host cell and then it will try to penetrate inside this particular host cell and will try to invade the periplasmic space. As soon as this gets an entry inside and is covered from outside by the host cell, it will lose its flagella and the cell now becomes a kind of an incubator for this particular Dello Vibrio. So, this uh, cell, the host cell, it becomes circular now and this particular Dello Vibrio, now known for feeding on the uh, biopolymers like your proteins and the nucleic acid of the host cell, it will go on eating and consuming the nutrients of this particular host and it will go into a spiral chain like structure. So, it just goes on multiplying one cells attached to each other in the forming a uh, spiral chain and now slowly consuming the nutrients of this particular host. Now, once the nutrients of this particular host they are consumed, you will find that this particular chain it gets to formation of septa. So, there is formation of these septate kind of uh, cells and once these particular septa are formed, once all the nutrients are exhausted, this develops into an independent cell which now has the flagella. With the help of enzymes, it will lyse this particular host cell. So, after the host cell lyses, the Dello Vibrios they will be released and these released Dello Vibrios can now attack another particular host cell. So, as you can see in the cycle, though it uh, is inside these particular host cell for 15 to 20 minutes, yes, these are parasitic, these are uh, bacteria which are eating the other bacteria, actually eating and engulfing them, growing inside them. So, this also implies that if you want to grow these bacteria in the laboratory, you will have to grow the host first. If you want to find these bacteria in the natural environment, you will have to hunt the environment which harbors these particular host. So, you can find them everywhere like you can find them in sewage, you can find them in soil, you can find them in marine environment, wherever you find the host like E. coli, Pseudomonas, Rhizomium which I mentioned, wherever is the host, there there are chances that this particular Dello Vibrio will be dwelling there and in your agar plate, if you have a lawn of E. coli, as you see the clear areas, the plaques what we call for the bacteriophages, similar 
kind of growth you will find of these particular delovibrio. So they will grow in as clear areas on the lawn of the bacterial cells. Yes, you can also uh, grow these in the host uh, independent phase, but then host independent phase is non-motile, it's amorphous, it's diffused, it, uh, it's a bit larger in size and very difficult to grow. So if you want to maintain them in the laboratory, you will have to maintain the host cell. So stay tuned with me, Professor Girish Kukreja for more such interesting things in microbiology, biotechnology and much more. Thank you.